Hey, I'm Lucas, and in this video, you'll learn how to build a setup for getting things done, or GTD for short, in Apple Notes. You can get the most out of this tutorial by building your setup while watching the video. You can open the app next to the video, for example. Remember though, this can be a lot to take in. So do it at your own pace. Do it in your own style. You don't have to copy me one-to-one. -one. Do what works best for you in this moment. We're gonna set up a GCD build in Apple Notes for Dylan the DJ. Now the first thing we need to think about in any GTD build is capturing. Dylan needs to be able to empty his head no matter where or when. For example, when an idea for a new song strikes him, when he sees an image that he wants to use in an event promotion poster, or if he wants to clip song lyrics from the web. To facilitate all of that, we need to have a place for that kind of input to land into. So let's create it in Apple Notes. Go to the left bottom corner, press new folder and call it inbox. You can add an emoji to it for more visual appeal. Starting with the obvious, once you're in the inbox folder, you can create a new item in there by pressing the create a note button in the top middle. Alternatively, you can press command plus N. If you use Safari, you can select a piece of text, right click on it and use the option add to quick notes. This will not be sent to the inbox though, but rather a separate quick notes folder that will be created automatically. Not ideal. And what's also not ideal is that the text isn't even saved as text, but as an image with the text in it and a link to the original page. It's a great idea, but poor execution in my opinion. What Apple Notes does a lot better is its web clipper. Instead of traditional web clippers though, where you install a plugin in your web browser, you just have to navigate to a page. Then, Create a note and press the add a link button. You'll be able to select the URL you're on and it will be saved with the title and a clickable link, regardless of which web browser you're using. Lastly, you can also use your iPhone or iPad social share options to save things into Apple Notes. In GTD, the natural next step after capturing is clarifying, where we assign meaning to whatever raw input we've captured in the inbox. A big part of clarifying though, is moving it out of the inbox into different lists. So we're gonna set those up first. Create the following folders in the following order. Areas and projects, agendas, someday maybe, higher horizons, and reference. Under areas and projects, create folders dedicated to the various areas of focus you have in your life. For Dylan, I'm just gonna add DJ, but other roles like father, friend, book club president can also be added at this level. Add whatever applies to you. Under Sunday maybe, add folders for categories of items you cannot do now but may want to do in the future. For Dylan, this includes countries whose music culture he wants to explore and DJ gear he may want to purchase in the future. Under Higher Horizons, add three notes named Goals, Vision and Purpose respectively. Under reference, add two folders named templates and archive. Inside of the templates folder, add a note named my tags. These are essential for clarifying and I think it's helpful to have some sort of master document where they're all collected as Apple Notes removes a tag if there's currently no note associated with it. You can create a tag by pressing hash followed by a string. Create the next tag for next actions and waiting for commitments others have made to you. Create a heading named contexts and add any contexts that apply to you. For Dylan, these are studio, club, home, and phone. Notice how I added a dash in front of each string. This will make it a lot easier to retrieve them when actively clarifying. So I highly recommend you do the same. Optionally, you can create headings for time and energy estimates. I've also included POMO estimates to give you an idea what those could look like if you practice the Pomodoro method. You'll see all tags bundled under the left sidebar, organized alphabetically. Unfortunately, you have no option to reorder or nest them. Lastly, create a heading named reference and add any tags there that are relevant to how you organize your information. This could be by topic, file type, category, or any particular combination of multiple tags. The point is that it makes sense to you and you can easily find pieces of information when you need them. For Dylan, we've just created two. One named Music for music he likes and may want to include in future DJ sets, 
and one named Tutorials to get better at his craft. Now let's look at the inbox and actually start clarifying. Dylan has two pieces of raw input here that need to be moved and tagged. Starting with the oldest item first, it's a note that says clean turntables. Let's give it two tags. Next to indicate it can be done now and studio for context. As you can see, the dash makes it easy to select for context. It's a neat hack that creates a drop down menu to select from. Lastly, we'll move it into the DJ folder as it's a sort of standalone item that doesn't require a full project. Next, we have Ask Kelvin Harris to Collaborate. Now, this sounds like an agenda item to me. We'll do three things here. First, we rename the title of the note to Kelvin Harris. This makes it easy to find, especially when we have a folder with multiple names in there. Then, we add a checklist item that says, let's collaborate. Whenever Dylan sees Calvin Harris, he just has to boot up his note named Calvin Harris to make sure his nerves don't make him forget what he wanted to talk to him about. You can also title agenda notes after specific meetings or companies in case you don't know the company's representative's name. And lastly, of course, we'll move it in the agendas folder. Full projects have a folder of their own. In Dylan's case, he has a project named Prepare Set for Saturday Night. In a note named Project Outline, he has an overview of the steps required, organized by status. Completed for tasks he's already performed, current for next actions that are due, and upcoming for tasks that aren't next actions just yet. In this case, Dylan's made a selection of the songs and now needs to practice the sets in his studio and arrange transportation to the nightclub. Once he's in the nightclub, he'll want to have one more test run, but that's not a next action yet, since he's not even at the club yet. You can also add separate notes for support material here. The associated next actions have been turned into separate notes with their names and associated tags. Take care to place the tags under the title or they'll clutter your view, though this will not affect functionality. Once completed, you can just delete the notes, update the project outline, and see what's next up. Some name maybe items are added separately to their associated folders. In Dylan's case, he wants to explore the music cultures of Andorra, Burundi, and Cambodia, and invest in a new pair of headphones in the future. Under High Horizons, one of his goals include having played in 30 different clubs by the end of 2022, and gaining 50,000 followers on SoundCloud. That is because his vision is to become a world-famous DJ who plays at the biggest festival. So he needs to get his name out there. All this is in alignment with his life purpose, which he's defined as spreading love through music, which also happens to be his Ikigai, a Japanese concept which I actually prefer over the traditional GTD purpose, as it is more practical. It is an intersection of what you love, what the world needs, what you're good at, and what you can get paid for. Under reference, Dylan's added two pieces of non actionable information that he may want to refer to if needed. I used the add link feature here and was surprised to see. These are actually playable YouTube videos within the note, though the controls leave much to be desired as there is only a play and pause button. Apple Notes organizational structure with nested lists makes reviewing pretty easy. It's clearly marked and the ability to switch between list and tile views is also great as some lists may warrant one view over the other. Under templates, you can create notes with checklists that you may want to repeat regularly like a weekly review ritual. To initiate one, just copy the template note and go through it. This is also where I added a project outline template, as well as the tags master list, which you can update as your needs change. Now, of course, the most important aspect of any productivity system is that it actually helps you get things done by reducing friction. And while we've organized everything nicely for Dylan, there's still one crucial element missing, the ability to engage with tasks grouped by context rather than just project-based. This is where smart folders come in. Smart folders are essentially filters that can select for conditions that you define. Dylan has smart lists that show notes with the next tag and a particular context. This ensures we don't see tasks that aren't next up yet, but we also don't see tasks that we cannot perform anyway since we're not in that particular context right now. Due to the conditional logic though, every smart list will contain the my tags template since it also contains those tags. One way to solve for this is by pinning them, which will provide a clearer demarcation between the templates and the actual next actions. Smart lists can be recognized by their gear shaped symbol. While they can be positioned anywhere in the sidebar, 
they cannot be grouped or nested, which is a letdown for purists like me who would have loved to position them inside of a next actions folder. If you have Mac only contexts, you can also create a smart list based widget that displays all next actions within that context. This can be especially useful if you have software based contexts. And that is it. While Apple Notes is not perfect, it's missing some functionality like due dates and other advanced task functionality. I was surprised to see how capable it actually is. And if you use it in conjunction with something like Apple Reminders, you can really get a full fledged GTD setup for Apple that is completely free. Share your experiences with Apple Notes in the comments and subscribe for more actionable, fluff free productivity tech education. Thanks for watching.